Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I just wanted to show you uh, a posting I put up about using MetaTrader MQL5 uh, to forex, forex indicators, uh, which you can somewhat translate into C++ in a not very difficult way. So for instance, if you follow this intro to open source uh, Intel TBB for the currency with my Redis, uh, you will know that I have these separate nodes so you can run in parallel with each other for separate indicators. So for instance, now this is the key, is that the node or worker, the code itself has to be very small and compact. But I just want to show you a couple examples of what I mean by using MetaTrader, specifically MQL5, which is the proprietary language. And here's an example. So for you to use average true range, remember this is MetaTrader, really only for forex trading. You, you can use this code in M MQL5 because the whole idea behind MQL5 is to make it as close to C++ as possible. So here if you go through the logic of how this code builds up, you have your typical um, array of order, time, high, low, close, which is kind of like your rolling window. And you can kind of walk through some of the code here to see how to build out and calculate this, uh, this typical uh, algorithm for, let's say, as I said, ATR. Okay, and then you can plug that somewhat, e hopefully easily, into your C++ code using this role model that I've released or will be releasing in a few days. Again, only for a very short period of time. So it's just one idea. Now, if you come under uh, mql5.com, what you'll notice here is if you come under up here, code base, here you can use these indicators, and there's a pile of them, popular ones um, that you may find useful, volume weighted, moving average, standard deviation, let's say, take a view, and once again, you can use that code as an example for an indicator. Um, some of it may, may be too lengthy for to plug into as a separate worker um, indicator, but it could be useful. You could use these as references. So I thought I'd just put this out there for you and uh, just give you uh, some ideas how to work from that. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Let me know what you think.